And while she's bringing that over, I'm going to say, Woo! <laughs> Well, you know, like you, I love to have my voice on my phone. Hello. Good morning. Today I'm going to introduce you to a version of me that you've never met. I'm going to take you back in time and tell you a little bit about my path and where I am and the woman that you know now. And part of that starts with the super hot and sexy professional outfit that I'm wearing today. <laughs> the shoes are four inch Faux crocodile. <laughs> I look good, don't I? Yes. Yeah. I look gorgeous. Yes, you do. I can fucking rock a stage and a mic and professionalism, speaking well. I'm educated, over educated, a lifelong learner, have a couple of degrees, a few certifications. MVP in basketball. There was a time when I had a body that would not quit without any effort whatsoever. whatsoever. <coughs> and Varian shared her story about how something happened that pushed her to be perfect. And I pushed myself to be perfect so that nothing would happen. And I did well at it. I was fantastic at it. Very much like you looking at me today, you might not see from the outside what was going on on the inside. And for a long time, I bought what the world was selling. And it, <coughs> it felt fine. There's that fucking word, fine. It felt fine to be the best. It felt fine to quench my spirit. It felt fine to excel. It felt it was all I ever knew. And there was a point when I started paying attention to the inside more than the outside. And I felt a little itch. So right now, I want to tell you what it feels like to be wearing this outfit. First of all, I actually planned it when, when Mark started talking about wearing a suit and um, Christina mentioned the pencil skirt. I was like, oh my god, I fucking rock a pencil skirt. <laughs> and so I, I planned this outfit. I've got my little stitch, stitch, fix, stitch fix shirt, and um, I was craving a yellow pencil skirt for it. And of course, somehow Facebook knew that and showed it up on my computer. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I got my outfit, I my outfit. And I shared with you guys the other day in a post that. I was gonna test it out, and I went to jury duty, and I put on this outfit. So first of all, my feet, um, my toes are squished. I don't care how good my calves look and that they look a lot <coughs> sexier. I'm, I feel taller, but to feel taller, I, fe I can feel my back, the energy going up and down my back, and it's not in a good flow kind of way. I feel my thighs being pressed together. I feel a little bit of instability being in these shoes. I feel constricted around my chest. My boots feel smushed. My crotch is actually sweaty because of everything that's <laughs> containing what's in there. <laughs> That's why I asked to go first. Because <laughs> mama's not sitting around all day. <laughs> that going on. <laughs> My hair is straight and pulled back. My earrings are, I mean, everything, everything I have and I'm wearing today is stuff that I own. But my earrings are, um, 
trend, not trendy, but conservative. And something, I feel beautiful, but I don't feel me. And so my life was like that. There was something in me, and every time I said, you know what, I think I'm gonna do something different. Somebody said, you shouldn't wear Chuck Taylors with your suits. You shouldn't wear your hair curly. You shouldn't speak about depression from the stage. You shouldn't be friends with your clients. You shouldn't say the word fuck. <clears throat> you shouldn't use sexual innuendo. You should follow the model. You should always give credit to the person who stole the content from somebody else. <laughs> You should, you should, you should, you should, and I can spend the rest of my 10 minutes talking about all the shoulding that the world didn't really do to me, but I bought, I believed it, right? It's I own that I should all over myself. And there was a moment when I realized that if I were true to all the shoulds, then I wasn't being the real me. It was not only professionally, I had to face that confrontation, but when I faced it professionally, I ended up looking my husband, that I, my now husband, the one in the eye, saying, if you need to leave, because I have to do this thing that you think is a pipe dream, it's okay to go. I just have to be me, otherwise, why are you married to me? And then I knew that I had to start becoming me, So I want to stop for a second, and I want you to think about you. And one of the reasons I share this message, because I see a lot of people being what they think they're supposed to be. That's not, it's not a bad thing. I just want to offer that there's something a little bit more magical, that even better than I look is feeling good and alignment and um, allowing flow to go through you, right? So right now, um, it's interesting <coughs> bearing this. I'm, I'm constricted. My, my energy and my flow is not done. So in life, I had to begin to take off that person that I was being. So the first thing I did was loosen my belly. Kick off these fucking heels. <laughs> shimmy out of the corporate polyester tight had to be dry clean. <laughs> <laughs> then there's this garment. <laughs> naked, I wonder what people will think, but it's the beginning of re-clothing myself into who I am. Y'all didn't know this part of me either, but I want to encourage you that if you feel like taking off some of those clothes, all you need is the tiniest bit of confidence that what's coming is so worth it, that it's okay to get naked. It's okay to get fluffy. <laughs> it's okay to worry about what other people think as long as what's stronger is what you think, what I think. I just found this new place called Savannah. I fucking love these clothes. <laughs> I quit my 
pitch fix thing because they kept sending stuff that wasn't me. It had to be dry cleaned. <laughs> oh my god, this cotton shirt. <laughs> Tunic, whatever. It's cotton, it feels good, it breathes. I live in Texas where it's hot. Saggy, baggy boyfriend jeans. <laughs> My butt's always been a little bit bigger than everything else. <laughs> oh, my hippie beads just reminds me of the essence of who I am, the stones that conjure energy for me, my Native American earrings. The fact that um, I'm psychic. The wild, big hair. I read energy. I know shit. <laughs> I read your thoughts. And I live and breathe. full fucking color, to be your muse, to inspire you, to give you permission. You may not, you will not be me, <coughs> but be you, not because Rich says be you, but because when you be you, the, it changes everything, flow, and then life comes to you, the life you always wanted, you don't have to strive for, it shows up for you. Thank you. Woo! <laughs>